Hello there, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for Tipsquirrel.com, the website for everything Photoshop, Lightroom, Adobe Camera Raw, Photoshop Elements, and Photoshop Touch. In this video, I'll be making a comp image. Now, this is where I go and get several images, in my case, I'm going to choose two, and put them together to see how they look. It's a rough edit of an image that I may want to create later. So, let's jump in and see how it's done. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the Photolia website. Now you can see that I've got an account here already. It costs nothing to join and you can use comp images from the site. We'll demonstrate that in just a second. Once you've joined the website, just scroll down to the bottom of the home page. Yours may look slightly different depending on where you are in the world. But down here under Photolia, it says partners. If you give that a click, up come several logos, one of which is the Adobe logo. If you click the download the plugin for Adobe, this will open the Adobe plugin manager. Follow the instructions and that'll put the plugin to Photoshop as well as some other Adobe Creative Suite products. Once we're done, let's jump into Photoshop and see how we can use that. So all we need to do then is go to Window, Extensions and Photolia and there it is. Use the same login details as you did before and then we need to create two folders. One is for any images that we buy. In my case, it's here under Download Stock Images. Now I've created a folder inside that folder called Comp, which I've made for my Comp folder. Let's go and have a little search for some images. Now I want to make an image of someone hitchhiking. So let's go and get a road to start with. So if I type in road, it goes and searches the database and sure enough comes back with all kinds of photographs of roads. But I'm going to have to narrow down my search just a little bit, I think. That's too much. So back to search, and let's put in desert. Desert road. And that matches more what I sort of had in mind. So let's have a look. This one looks interesting. I can click on the magnifying glass here just to come up with a bigger preview. So I like that one. I quite like this one too. Let's have a look at that one. Okay, let's scooch back up and uh, have a look at this one again. Okay, let's try this one first. Now you can see I've got several icons down the bottom here. We can view this on the website. We can also add this to the shopping cart. Well, we don't really want to do that, not yet anyway. We can add it to the comp images. Yes, we do want to do that. Or we can add it to the light box. Now, light box will put it in our light box on the Photolia website so that we can see it a bit better should we wish. But I'm happy to download this into my comp images folder. And sure enough, it's done. Now I've already got the folder up and open on another screen. I can tell you it is already there. In fact, I can go and drag it in. There we go. You can see it's very low resolution and it has some watermarks, but that's okay. We're just planning an image. This is far from going to be our final image, so it really doesn't matter. Now let's go and find our hitchhiker. So let's type in hitch hiker. Now I've spelt it rather strangely, but there's still results there, none of which that I particularly like. Let's go and take out the middle bit here and try that. And there's a few more, and in fact, I quite like this one here. That was kind of the thing that I had in mind, the, the model that I had in mind. So I might download that one into my comp folder as easily as that. It's already there. Now let's go and uh, spell it a little better or a little differently, perhaps. Uh, and then we can scroll down and we can see some other hitchhikers too. OK, this one looks a bit like I had in mind, sort of a half portrait there. OK, let's download that one into the comp folder as well. That's already there. And keep going down, 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 down. Is there any more? OK, this is kind of the image that I was going to try and create, in fact. So that will leave that one there. But we can use that as inspiration, perhaps, a little bit later. OK, I'm happy with what we've got. So I'm going to drag in our first model, which is the half portrait. And you see it's low resolution again. And I can put her on there. And actually, I can tell straight away that they don't really match. It's not a very good fit at all. I wouldn't put 
this lady in a desert scene at all so I'm going to get rid of her let's click on that one there let's go and get my other lady and then again open that up and yeah she's kind of more suited to the the atmosphere that I'm trying to create but it's still not right as far as this image is concerned so in fact I think I'm going to want a different road so let's quit that one and go and search for a different desert road desert road okay let's try a desert not a desert road and then we can bring this down 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 there was another one I liked wasn't there there it is let's have a look that's more like it so let's download that one into my comp images sure enough it's there there's no speeding up in this at all I am doing this real time and as I say it was already there I've just asked that one to open up in Photoshop and there it is and I can go and grab my hitchhiker click OK she's ran the wrong way I think let's flip that one and much better she fits the scene a lot better so already very quickly I'm starting to build up an image that I think yep yeah, this is what I'm after let's make sure let's go and do a very quick selection on the hitchhiker here now I say very quick I usually think I'm not going to spend a great deal of time on this because it's not necessary and then I start refining edges and all sorts I'm not going to do that for you um, it's a bit boring to watch uh, let's, let's just very quickly do that press Q to see how much of it I've got missing a shoulder let's try that Q again to enter quick mask and we can see how we're doing Q okay and then I'm going to press click on the icon here to add a layer mask and there we have it we have our model in situ now we can see how that's going to look and yep I think when we do this full res it's going to look pretty good now I actually wanted it in moonlight so I can check this out too let's close this down and check moonlight and actually yeah I think for a very quick rough put together a comp image this is looking roughly how I wanted it to look so I'm good to go so I can go back to Photolia now I say thank you very much I do want those let's log in once more now actually I am going to buy them so I'm going to look in my comp images and I'm going to add this one and this one to my shopping cart once they're in the shopping cart I can go over to the Photolia website and I can purchase them whether it be as a single items or as part of a subscription so there we are comp images very quickly cobbling together a few images to get a final representation of what we wanted to do I'm Eric Renault thank you very much for watching I'll see you again next time bye bye for now